Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLV Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2, Panda Slate Code, Question Easy, Question Number 603, Consecutive Available Seats. The GitHub solution for this question will be available in the video description below. You can join the Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and subscribe discussions scan here to join the communities the links are also provided in the video description now let's solve the problem okay they have given a table cinema table okay which is consisting of some seat id and free okay some one two three four five seats if it is a free it will be one if it is not free it will be zero now let us see what is the question they're asking find all the consecutive seats available in the cinema consecutive means any two rows okay should be having free okay written the table ordered by the seat id in the ascending order so they want to check which are the seats which are consecutively available out of all the seats they want to sort it okay the test case are generated so that more than two seats are consecutively available okay they are saying it is already available so no issue the result format is the following example okay let us take this example let us paste it here okay. so when we say a ticket is consecutively uh, available as free. For example, let us assume there is a ticket called 4. Okay. Either 3 or 4 should have 1. Okay. 1 means free. If I want to check for 4, either 3 or 4 should be consecutively available or 4 or 5 should be 1. Okay. For example, for this first row, what is the previous row? Nothing. Okay. Let me keep null. For this one, what is the previous row? 1. For this one, 0. For this one, 1. For this one, 1. Okay. Similarly, what is the next row for this one? You can see. For this one, next row is 0. This one, next row is 1. 1. 1. This one, nothing is available. So, let us say this is free row. Let us say this is previous free row. This is next free row. So what we are doing? I am trying to shift the column one row up and one row below. Okay. Now can I say, for example, let us come here. Is 1 and null both are 1? It means 1 and the previous row is not free. Similarly, this first column value and this value. Is it same? Is it both 1 and 1? No. It means 1 is not consecutive. Let us come to 2 here. Current row value is 0. Previous row value is 1. Not possible. Current row value is 0. Previous next row value is 1. Not possible. Only both are 1. Then both are consecutive. This is also not possible. Let us come here. 1, 0. Not consecutive. 1, 1. It means the current row 3 and then the next row 4 are consecutive. So this is okay. Let us come to 4. 1, 1. So 4 and the previous row 3 is consecutive. Again 1, 1. 4 and the next row is also consecutive. This is consecutive. Similarly, 5. 5 and the 4th row is both 1. 5 and the next row is not. So any one if it is matching, it is matching. So what are the rows which are matching? Consecutive 3, 4, 5. So what I need to do? I need to compare each row of mine to the previous row and also the next row. Either the pre current row and the previous row should be 1 or the current row and the next row should be 1. All the things which are matching, I want the seed IDs. That is what we need to do. Okay. Let us code it up. So how to get the next column like this? For example, we have, we got this previous row and next row. So what we did, we shifted the column one row up and one row below. If you are coming from SQL background, we do something called lag, just a minute, lag comma lead, okay. The equivalent of that in Python is, in Pandas is shift, shift 
वन पोजिशन अप शिफ्ट वन पोजिशन बिलो ओके लेट मी शो इट फॉर यू सो लेट अस कॉल सिनेमा प्रीवियस एफ इज इक्वल टू cinema free so i'm trying to shift the free column by one row okay similarly cinema next free row is equal to shift minus 1 return cinema you can see right previous row for first row is null second row 1 third row 0 fourth row 1 fifth row 1 similarly next row for first row is 0 1 1 1 0 okay we got it now i need to filter this table okay let's filter this table what should i filter such that or directly we can write it here i want from this cinema table where cinema of free should be equal to 1 and cinema of pf equal to 1 okay let me keep outside okay this is the condition or we have the second condition what is that either free and next row also can be one okay let me keep it in one bracket copy it let me paste it here again and let me keep the first part again in brackets second part again in brackets and any one of them should satisfy so let me keep a or i'm saying either friend equal to 1 and pf equal to 1 or free equal to 1 or next row is equal to 1 okay let me run it see we got only the rows which are required 3 4 5 let me select the seed column okay as it is a single com series let me make it a data frame that's it we got our solutions now let me submit for final result okay there is a issue here what is this they have asked the solution but in which way it should be sorted right and you can see here 1 2 4 3 it is an issue if you observe it. so let me do one thing initially only let me sort the table cinema dot sort values by seat id column okay as it is a view i want to change in place because i want the original table to be sorted by this one so let me keep like this now i think it should work i'm sorting the table let me check for all the test cases that's it okay our solution has successfully passed all the test cases so what we done first of all we have sorted the table i have shifted the column one row up and one row below and i checked whether the current row value is equal to the next row or the current row value is equal to the previous row any one of the row it is matching condition it is matching then it is a consecutive row after that only the seat id column i have taken that's it i hope it is clear for everyone okay If you want the so code solution for this, okay, let me share it. Just a minute. I'll be sharing you. If you want the code solution for it, it will be available in this GitHub because repository. The link for that will be available in the chat description below. And if you are further interested in learning data science, data analytics. or machine learning nlp computer vision and generate ai stuff please fill in the google form below my team will be reaching out to you and you can follow this official linkedin page for further community updates okay and if you have any other further questions 
or any doubts regarding the question which you have solved please use the hashtag ask mle prasad in the comment section if you have any doubts i'll be clarifying that in the comment section okay until then keep learning guys keep practicing